The parents of a teen shot and killed by Tempe police are planning protests tomorrow. They are outraged that this officer will not be facing criminal charges for the death of their son. Here's Nicole Kreitz. We haven't heard one apology. Nobody who was questioned came to this woman and told her how sorry they were for losing her child. Emotional reaction today to the Maricopa County attorney's decision to not file criminal charges against the Tempe officer who shot and killed a robbery suspect last summer. This surveillance footage shows 19-year-old Dalvin Hollins robbing a Walgreens pharmacy near rural in Guadalupe in July. Witnesses heard Hollins say he had a gun. His right hand was in a black bag as he demanded the prescription medication. No gun was actually seen. Nonetheless, employees at the pharmacy did, in fact, fear for their lives and understood the suspect to mean what he said about killing them. Lieutenant Edward Womet and a patrol officer responded to the armed robbery and tried stopping him, but he ran. The lieutenant chased after him. He didn't have to chase him. He didn't have to chase him. Witnesses heard the lieutenant tell Hollins to stop or he'd shoot. The lieutenant said he pointed what looked like a gun, so he shot him. Hollins then ran into a senior care center where he died. Police never found a gun. The autopsy showed Hollins had been shot in the back. The lieutenant never turned on his body camera. Their office has not given a definitive statement, and neither has the city of Tempe about whether policies and procedures were violated by Lieutenant Womet. And since this incident, Tempe police now require their officers to immediately activate their body cameras when responding to an emergency call instead of when they arrive on the scene. That lieutenant is still on leave. The Hollins family, meantime, is moving forward with a lawsuit.